vectors operation. In this video, the last video on vectors, we will start by defining the sine, the cosine, and the tangent of an angle in a right triangle. As we are going to use this knowledge later, when we study how to analyze a vector to its components and how to find the angle for the resultant vector. First, we start with the definitions for the sine, the cosine, and the tangent for an angle theta in a right triangle. A right triangle is a triangle that has one of its angles equals 90 degrees. The sine function for the angle theta in the right triangle define as sine of theta equals opposite leg divide hypotenuse. The cosine of theta equals adjacent leg divide hypotenuse. Tangent of theta equals opposite leg divide adjacent leg. Vectors components. When analyzing a vector to its x and y components, the cosine of the angle goes with the adjacent component of the vector to the angle. And the sine of the angle goes with the vector's component, that opposite to the angle. For example, to find the x and y components for the vector a, that is magnitude equals 50 and makes angle 60 with the x-axis. The x component for vector a will be ax equals a times cosine theta. Substituting the values we get, ax equals 50 times cosine 60, and this equals 25. The y component for a will be ay equals a times sine theta. Substituting the values we get ay equals 50 times sine 60, and this equals 43.3. Examples on analyzing vectors to their components. Example 1. A skyrocket travels 113 meters at an angle of 82.4 degrees with respect to the ground and toward the south. What is the rocket's horizontal displacement? And what is the vertical displacement of the rocket? The answer. The horizontal displacement for the rocket is the x component for the rocket displacement. As the horizontal displacement is the adjacent leg to the angle, we use the relation dx equals d cosine theta. By substituting the values, dx equals 113 cosine 82.4. The answer is 15 meters. To find the vertical component of the rocket, the height, which is the opposite component for the angle, we use the relation. dy equals d sine theta. By substituting the values, we get dy equals 113 sine 82.4, and this equal to 112. Another example of analyzing a vector to components. A duck accelerates away from a hunter at 2.0 meters per second square at an angle of 35 degrees to the ground. Find the horizontal and vertical magnitude of the acceleration. The answer. As the angle of acceleration is measured to the x-axis, then we can analyze the acceleration vector as follow. The acceleration horizontal component is adjacent to the angle, therefore, it goes with the cosine of the angle, and this equal to ax equals a cosine theta where theta is the angle of the acceleration related to the ground. Therefore, ax equals 2 cosine 35, and this equals to 1.6 meters per second square. For the vertical component of the acceleration, it is opposite to the angle, and it goes with the sine of the angle, therefore, ay equals a sine theta. By substituting the values, we get ay equals 2 sine 35, and this equals 1.1 meters per second square. Therefore, the duck accelerates in two directions. In the x direction with acceleration equals 1.6 meters per second square, and in the y direction with acceleration equals to 1.1 meters per second square. The submarine dives 110.0 meters at an angle of 10.0 degrees below the horizontal. What are the two components for the submarine displacement? The answer. As we can see here, the submarine displacement is 110 meters with an angle 10 degrees below the x axis. So, when using the angle in the calculation we write minus 10. Because the angle measures clockwise direction. As we studied before the x component for the vector goes with the adjacent leg for the angle. Therefore, the x component for the displacement, dx equals d cosine theta. Substituting the values we get. d equals 110 cosine minus 10 degrees. By finding the final answer, we get the x component for the displacement, dx equals 108.3 meters. To find the y component for the displacement, which is the opposite leg for the angle, we use dy equals d sine theta. Substituting the values we get, dy equals 110 sine minus 10, and this equals minus 19.1 meters. This means that the submarine moved in a downward direction related to the x-axis. Adding vectors that are not perpendicular. Until this point, the vector addition problems concerned vectors that are perpendicular to one another. However, many objects move in one direction, 
and then turn at an angle before continuing their motion. To explain the idea, we'll do the following example. Suppose that a plane initially travels 5 kilometers at an angle of 35 degrees to the ground, then climbs at only 10 degrees relative to the ground for 22 kilometers. How can you determine the magnitude and direction for the vector denoting the total displacement of the plane? The answer. The original displacement vectors do not form a right angle with each other. Therefore, you cannot apply the tangent function or the Pythagorean theorem to add the original two vectors. To solve such problems, to find the magnitude and direction of the resultant vector's addition, we do the following steps. First, resolve each vector to its x and y components. In the first part of the plane's trip, d1x equals d1 cosine theta. Substituting the values, we get d1x equals 5 cosine 35, and this equals 4.1 kilometers. For the y component, d1y equals d1 sine theta. Substituting the values, we get d1y equals 5 sine 35, and this equals 2.9 kilometers. For the second part of the trip, d2x equals d2 cosine phi, substituting the values we get, 22 cosine 10, and this equals 21.7 kilometers. For the y component d2y equals d2 sine phi, by substituting the values we get d2y equals 22 sine 10, and this equals 3.8 kilometers. Next, add the components along each axis. Rx is the component addition along the x-axis. Therefore, Rx equals d1x plus d2x, substituting the values we get. Rx equals 4.1 plus 21.7, and this equal to 25.8 kilometers. The Ry is the addition of the components along the y-axis. Therefore, Ry equals d1y plus d2y. By substituting the values we get. Ry equals 2.9 plus 3.8, and this equal to 6.7 kilometers. Now we have perpendicular vectors that form an angle of 90, so now we can apply the Pythagorean theorem to find the resultant vector r. By applying the Pythagorean theorem, we get r square equals rx square plus ry square. Substituting the values, we get r square equals 25.8 square plus 6.7 square. Results from that r square equals 710.53. By taking the square root for both sides we get. r equals the square root for 710.53. And this equals 26.7 kilometers. To find the direction of the total displacement, we use the equation. Theta equals tan inverse of ry, divided by rx, substituting the values, theta equals to tan inverse of 6.7, over 25.8. So, theta equals 14.6 degrees relative to the x-axis. Therefore, the final displacement for the plane is 26.8 kilometers with an angle of 14.6 degrees relative to the x-axis. Find the magnitude and direction of the resultant velocity vector for a fish swimming at 3.0 meters per second relative to the water across a river that moves at 5.0 meters per second. The answer. The fish has two components of velocities. The first one related to its motion, and equals 3.0 meters per second, and the second one related to the river's motion. To find the resultant velocity for the fish, we add the two components of the velocities as vectors. As the fish movement is perpendicular to the river motion, then we can apply the Pythagorean theorem. V square equals V1 square plus V2 square. As the river movement is downward, we will indicate its direction with a negative sign. And because the fish moves to the left we indicate its velocity also with negative signs. So the river velocity is minus 5.0 meters per second, and the fish velocity is minus 3.0 meters per second. Therefore, v square equals minus 5.0 meters per second square plus minus 3.0 meters per second square. Simplifying the equation we get. v square equals 25 plus 9, and this equals 34. Taking the square root for both sides to get the resultant velocity. v equals the square root for 34, and this equals 5.8 meters per second. To find the fish direction, we use the tangent function. Theta equals tan inverse for the river velocity which is along the y-axis. As it is the opposite leg for the angle theta divides fish velocity which is along the x-axis, which is the adjacent leg to the angle theta. So theta equals tan inverse minus 5 divide minus 3, and this equals 59 degrees. Therefore, the fish resultant velocity is 5.8 meters per second with an angle 59 degrees below the x-axis. An airplane flying parallel to the ground undergoes two consecutive displacements. 
The first is 75 kilometers 30.0 degrees west of north, and the second is 155 kilometers 60.0 degrees east of north. What is the total displacement of the airplane? The answer. To find the total displacement for the airplane, we need first to analyze each displacement vector to its components. We will indicate the first displacement as D1, so for the first displacement which is 75 kilometers with an angle of 30 degrees. The x component D1x equals D1 cosine theta. Substituting the values we get D1x equals 75 cosines 30, and this equals 65 kilometers, and as the component direction is in the negative x axis it will be minus 65 kilometers. For the y component, D1y equals D1 sine theta. Substituting the values we get D1y equals 75 sine 30, finding the answer we get D1y equals 37.5 kilometers, and as the component direction is in the positive y axis it will be positive. The second displacement is 155 kilometers with an angle of 60 degrees. We will indicate it as D2. So D2x equals D2 cosine phi. Substituting the values we get D2x equals 155 cosine 60, and this equals 77.5 kilometers. As the D2x component is on the positive x-axis, it will be positive. For the y component, D2y equals D2 sine phi. Substituting the values we get D2y equals 155 sine 60, and this equals 134.2 kilometers. As we have now four components on the x and y axes. We find Rx and Ry, as Rx is the addition of the components on the x-axis. So Rx equals D1x plus D2x, substituting the values we get, Rx equals minus 65 plus 77.5, and this equals to 12.5 kilometers in the positive x-axis. To find Ry, we add the components on the y-axis. So, Ry equals D1y plus D2y, substituting the values we get, Ry equals 37.5 plus 134.2, and this equals 171.7 kilometers in the positive y direction. Next, we find the resultant vector by applying the Pythagorean theorem. R square equals Rx square plus Ry square. Substituting the values we get, r square equals 12.5 square plus 171.7 square, from this we get, r square equals 29,637.14. Taking the square root for both sides, we get r equals 172.2 kilometers. To find the plane direction we apply the tangent function. Theta equals tan inverse ry divide rx, substituting the values we get, theta equals 171.7 divide 12.5, finding the answer we get theta equals 85.8 degrees relative to the x-axis. So the final displacement for the plane is 172.2 kilometers with an angle of 85.8 degrees relative to the x-axis.